2,000 years ago, when the Greeks pondered the nature of matter, they came up with two different models. Democritus said that matter is made up of tiny, indivisible particles called atoms. Aristotle said that matter is continuous. If matter is continuous, any object can be divided in half, and then in half again indefinitely. No matter how many times you divide it in half, you will never reach the smallest part. The idea that matter is continuous is more like the world we experience. So the idea of the atom was largely forgotten for centuries. By the 19th century, scientists were in their laboratories making measurements. Experimental evidence led some scientists to start thinking of atoms again. Chemists had discovered that the mass of the chemicals before a reaction always equals the mass of the products of the reaction. In this example, a solution of potassium chromate is mixed with solid silver nitrate. How do you know a reaction has occurred? Color change is one indication of a chemical reaction. The mass of the reactants equals the mass of the products. What is this chemical principle called? This is called the law of conservation of mass. Chemists had also discovered that elements combine in simple and changing ratios. For instance, Silver and sulfur always combine in a ratio by mass of 6.75 parts silver to one part sulfur to form silver sulfide. No matter where it was found or how it was formed, the elements in silver sulfide always are found in the same mass ratio of 6.75 to 1. The ratio was never 6 to 1, 8 to 1, or even 6.65 to 1. Water can be decomposed by electricity into oxygen and hydrogen. The ratio of the mass of oxygen to the mass of hydrogen is always 8 to 1. The elements in a compound always combine in the same fixed mass ratios. This is called the law of definite composition. John Dalton, an English chemist, proposed a new model of the atom in 1803 to explain these two laws. He suggested that each element is made up of identical particles called atoms. Atoms are tiny, indivisible, solid spheres like billiard balls or marbles. Atoms in one element differ from atoms in another element by their atomic mass. According to Dalton's model, these particles enter into reactions with the atoms of other elements to form compounds. Mass is conserved in reactions because atoms cannot be created or destroyed. Atoms combine in fixed ratios because they are indivisible and all atoms of any given element are all alike. The law of conservation of mass and the law of definite composition, as well as Dalton's own experiments, could be best explained by his atomic model. Although there was no direct evidence for the existence of atoms, 
Dalton's model was almost immediately put to use and remains the foundation for our modern view of matter.